What's up guys, it's Sam here. I just uh, finished my leg workout and my suit fucking barely fits. My pants are so fucking tight right now. They're literally like tights. But that's besides the point. Make sure you press that red button that says subscribe. I wanted to talk about how to find a source for SARMs or well, pretty much anything that you want to purchase. Um, but we're gonna focus mainly on SARMs in this video. <clears throat> In order to find a source for SARMs, obviously doing some Googling um, could be beneficial. However, for myself, what I find to be the most beneficial, well, at this point, I don't really look for sources anymore just because I make videos on this and it's people are always telling me about sources, so it's awesome. Um, but what I have done in the past, I still, and I definitely still do it, um, I think I did it last week. I just don't do it as often. Um, however, if you if you use Twitter, go to Twitter and search for the word SARM or whatever compound it is you're looking for, and then just check out the top like 30 or 40 posts. Um, probably half of them are gonna be from companies who are just tweeting out their product. So click on their profile, um, click on the, their profile, go check them out, and a lot of times they'll have the link to uh, their website. And then you can go check it out and see what you think. Take the name of the website and Google the name of their website. Check, look around on forums for five minutes and see if you can see anything about um, if, there, if, the, if there's a lot of bad reviews on that, um, on that site. Um, another one that I actually find a little bit better than um, using Twitter is using Instagram. So uh, I don't know if you, a lot of people use Instagram. Uh, even if you don't, there's over a billion people or something like that who are using Instagram. So there's a fucking uh, shitload of value on there. There's a shitload of people. If you go onto Instagram and do exactly the same thing, the uh, results I've gotten are a little bit better. I feel like Twitter, there's a little bit more spam than on um, Instagram. So say if you're looking for Austrian, MK2866, uh, go, into go into Instagram. If you're not used to it, fucking hit the search one. Look at the top search, hit tags. <laughs> Excuse me. Hit tags. Um, and and then look at some of the tags. And you're going to have people posting it in their profile, but you're also going to have companies. So there's two things you can do right there. Um, and I've done both. If you see somebody putting a tag in on like one of their pictures, you know what I mean? Like a hashtag on one of their pictures. You can go uh, comment on their picture or shoot them a DM and just ask them questions about it. Um, and if you just ask somebody straight out what their source is, they might not tell you. But if you start a conversation with that person, there you have a much higher probability of actually having them open up to you and give you where they got it from. Some people don't care. Some people are fucking a little tight about it. And then the other thing is a lot of the same companies will have... Um, handles, meaning like they're, they're they'll have a profile on Instagram, so they'll post pictures of their bottle, like you can, just like a regular marketing picture you you would see um, in like on the internet or fucking magazines 10, 15 years ago, and you just click on that, go to their profile, and they'll have a link to their uh, website most of the time uh, if they know what they're doing, and then you can go to the website, browse around, and then also I like to just take the name of the website and either search for it on Facebook or search for it on Google just to see what other information I can find, if any. And if I don't find anything, that doesn't mean that that's like a bad company. It just means that they don't have shit out there, like reviews or Facebook. That doesn't mean they're gonna fucking rip you off. Like this is not 1999, you know? It's, I've never had, I've been researching with SARMs for five years now, I've never had an issue with like a company trying to rip me up. Also, on a side note, um, if you if you do use this and you can find a company that takes credit cards, um, use your credit card over your debit card from the standpoint that it's a lot easier. The regulations, so I'm in financial services, but the regulations associated with a credit card are different than they are with a debit card and it's easier to get your money back with a credit card in essence than it is with a debit card. So if somebody, if you buy something for a hundred bucks with your debit card and 
you feel that the order was incorrect or maybe they just actually just stole your money or something like that, uh, it's easier to reconcile that with a credit card than it is with a debit card. Um, so that's what I like to use whenever possible is a, uh, is a credit card. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, you know where to leave them down below in the comments. Um, if you guys uh, have any other questions or you want to uh, ask me, shoot me a DM on Instagram. Link will be in the description or Facebook or one of the other uh, social platforms. I will get back to you. Instagram is definitely the easiest way and quickest way I can get back, but any of uh, the platforms will work. Thank you so much for walking, walking. <laughs> walking you gotta do your cardio so don't forget to do your walking and uh thank you so much for watching as well i appreciate your time i hope you guys create an amazing week and i will talk to you soon peace